We've seen from um, the hybridization of the molecule IH3 that it is hybridized um, with sp3d. We need five electron groups, three of which are bonding and two of which are non-bonding. We are now going to look at the contour diagram and draw this thing. So um, the geometry name is T-shaped. And the bond angles are less than 90 degrees. And the reason for these bond angles being less than 90 degrees, again, the shape is kind of, uh, this, this angle is less than 90. And the reason for that is because of these lone pairs. So lone pair, bonding pair, repulsion is greater than the, the bonding pair, bonding pair, repulsion. And that is why This angle is less than 90, or you could say this angle is greater than 180. So now we want to draw the contour diagram, and we'll see that we see where the shape fits in here. All right, so in the middle, I'm going to put my iodine. And I'm going to draw with a straight edge, a line straight up and a line straight down. That's going to help guide me. And then I'm going to draw a line that is out. Now those angles look 90 degrees and um, on paper they are. In reality they're less than 90. And the reason for that is for the purpose of helping us draw this thing. Okay, so we have the iodine in the middle, and we're going to have five orbitals that are sp3d. So I'm just going to draw, they look like little leaves. Try to draw them the same size as best we can. Okay, and so there is our sp3d, and so now I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so I can write those sp3d. It's a lot to write in that little orbital. But we want to make sure they're labeled. And the next thing I'm going to do is put my electrons that are going to be the shared electrons. One of the pair is from iodine and the other is from hydrogen. Now I'm going to draw um, hydrogen. So remember hydrogen is 1s. So we're just going to draw um, a circular orbital right here. It's a small orbital. And of course, I just drew those in the lone pairs, so there's only three of them. Okay, so let's reiterate that. These are my lone pairs. So they don't have hydrogens, as I erroneously drew them. Then I want to label these orbitals, 1s. That's with the hydrogen, and I'm going to label these atoms hydrogen. This is a bonding pair.
uh, as is this one and this one. My angle here is less than 90 degrees. So now we have a picture of the contour diagram of IH3 in which we have SP3D, that's five orbitals, two of which are non-bonding or unshared or lone pairs, and three of which are bonding pairs.